Hey Leo, what's going on? I hope everything is going well. I got a new little, little setup. Hope you enjoy it. All right, we're gonna hop into your reading, see what's going on with you and the person on your mind. Please do me a favor and like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if the reading helps, if I resonate with you, all right? And with that being said, let's see where you and your person are at in the connection. And then um, we'll start getting into what I see happening next year, okay? Ooh, all right, Leo. Leo. Can you show me Leo's person, please? How they are showing up in the connection with Leo. Let me get a little comfortable. All right. So your person shows up as camera. All right. <clears throat> Seems like they're reminiscing. Your person is uh, reminiscing about the past, all right? Hmm. This could also be someone that you're reminiscing about as well, all right? It's like what I'm getting for them, they're not necessarily thinking about the future with you, Leo, but they could be thinking about like a past event with you, all right? Thinking about the past, okay? How you show up is karmic relationship, all right? Letting go and loving you. Hmm. Either you're looking for this to, this connection to evolve with who this is, Leo. I do get for some of you, this is someone who at this point in time, you feel like the situation is karmic. You know, maybe there are cycles here that keep repeating in this connection and you're wanting to move on from it. All right. For some of you, I'm also getting you feel as though this person keeps living in the past um, or reminiscing about a past person or situation that isn't you, okay? I am getting that, if that makes sense. There could be something that has come up about this person's, maybe you found something, Leo, you have found, um, pictures or you've seen something that has triggered you and you're deciding to move on from this connection right now because you could be feeling like you know this person is stuck in the past and they're not you know I, I think for you if you what I'm kind of seeing with some of you is you're like I, I want to I'm ready to evolve all right I'm ready to move past that but they're still stuck in stuck in a certain place. Okay. So your person has the Knight of Cups. They're showing up like the Knight of Cups here. In the connection with you, this could be a Pisces, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So 
So I feel like Leo, if you're not, I'm kind of getting like, if you did find something or something did trigger you and you felt like, you know, or you're feeling like, hey, I need to kind of like move on from this, this person would like to possibly apologize to you. So this, this may resonate strongly more so with like, this person is remembering the past with you. Okay, thinking about the past with you. I'm getting a lot of imagination here with this Pisces energy. Okay. They may be thinking about the good times with you, Leo. definitely feel like they want to be in a good place with you for sure with the knight of cups this person wants to be um and they want to like yeah almost come in and soothe soothe things between you two calm calm the waters with you two if that makes sense Whoever this is, they could be a very like, I just got like smooth talker, all right? They may be younger than you, I'm getting Leo. This person may be younger. So you have the two of pentacles. I'm also seeing it's crazy. You have the tower and the six of pentacles. It's like I'm getting with you. You're you're you would tell this person, hey, if you are willing to just um leave the past in the past, you know, possibly this person had that like there's something unhealthy that your person may keep doing or has not outgrown. And with who this is, Leo, you could be saying like, I, I would, I'm, I can't move forward with you if you don't grow past that. Okay. I think you're open with the two of pentacles and the six of pentacles. I think you're open to hearing this person, like hearing them out, Leo, seeing what this person has to say. It really depends on, you know, okay, hold on. I think you have also let go of something here. All right. You have like let go of like if you had some sort of grudge against who this is for some of you you're like okay whatever like there may have been a lot of, there may have been a traumatic incidents incident i'm sorry well i'm here i just heard no there were some there were multiple but anyway there may have been like the straw that broke the camel's back with who this is okay but i am getting that it depends on how this person shows up, okay? You're willing to maybe have a little bit of conversation with who this is to start off, all right? Kind of seeing where they're at. I also get to, you kind of go back and forth, you know, with the Two of Pentacles. You kind of go back and forth about, is it really the best thing for you to even involve yourself with who this is though? Okay. Some of you are anticipating, like you kind of, it could be your intuition, Leo, like your intuition may tell you like this person is going to um, pop back up. Okay. 
It's just a matter of time. You may be sensing like it's just a matter of time before this individual um, show, you know, maybe they already have expressed something to you with the Knight of Cups. I get like they want to express something to you now with the Knight of Cups, okay? For a lot of you, I get like you've already let this person go. There was a triggering event and yeah, you identify the relationship as being karmic. I'm getting, the, remember when I said incidences, like there were multiple things that happened here. And, you know, but right now this person is more so like, again, they're reminiscing. So like now, you know, that's why I really need to lay all the cards out first. But when I when I saw the Knight of Cups with the camera, I'm like, they're kind, they're reminiscing more so about times with Leo. They're thinking about the good times, okay? And I'm getting this is someone that you probably are, are walking away from currently. You have walked away from who this is. And because um, like letting go and loving you, you decided to remove yourself from this relationship. Okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. There is passion though. There's still some chemistry here between you and who this is. Okay. <laughs> um, so it may be, that's why I was like, I think you're willing to hear this person out. Um, you and this person may still have a lot of chemistry together. All right. I'm getting like the feelings being mutual, whether, whether you all are speaking or not, you probably aren't speaking to who this is at the moment, but you all are feeling very much the same about each other right now. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> um, let's see. Clarify. <laughs> Sorry. Clarify on um, Leo's person, personal Leo's mind. Mm-hmm. They got the lamb. This person definitely wants to move forward with you. I can tell you that because I see the tarantula here. They're just, the, you know, this person's like masking. All right. Hiding. This could be um, an Aquarius. This is my Aquarius card. Um, could be an Aries. This is my Aries card. All right. And you have the lamb. Um, this is actually like my Capricorn card. Okay. Literally can be any sign though. All right. <laughs> But yeah, so it's like this person with camera in the Knight of Cups, they're reminiscing. I think Leo, this person is recognizing that they had a, a lot more good times with you. That's all I get is like this person's thinking about the good times or a good time they even had with you, okay? And there's some wisdom here. Lamb energy is prophetic, wise, all right? And very patient. So I feel like to a degree, yes, you, this may have been a, a karmic situation, but I do get that this person, because of your absence, Leo, has learned, has gained a bit of wisdom about um, about something having to do with the connection with you, okay? Yeah. And I'm getting them being humbled, all right? Very sweet, though, whoever this is. Like, they come up just being very loving and very sweet and... Um, uh, 
harmless, okay? <laughs> um, they don't want it, they don't intend on, you know, doing any harm. And yeah, they, I do get like, they want to make new memories with you, okay? They want to be a part of your life. I do get that. Um, clarify how Leo is showing up. The elephant. Ooh, tough. Oh, yeah. Look, you got the dolphin. You have the tarantula as well. So what that tells me is you are definitely... You're okay with moving forward. All right? You've gained a lot of wisdom equally. It's funny, right? That the word equally is here. And the elephant is what represents wisdom, right? Um, you're definitely trusting your inner guidance here, Leo, very strongly. And something is telling you to keep moving, all right? Elephant is about overcoming obstacles and I feel like this connection may have may have been somewhat or is somewhat of an obstacle here. Okay. I'm getting more so it may have been an obstacle that you had to overcome. But um here's what's interesting with elephant, dolphin, and the tarantula. This is all about Dharma and uh, moving away from <laughs> karma, right? And you really did, or you're really doing it. Like you're really letting go and you are very focused on living, uh, a lot of you, it's like life purpose type of energy, but also never, what I'm hearing is you never want to experience that again. You learned a lot and you never want to experience, um, what you've experienced okay possibly in this connection you're also again this is you know uh, there's a gift here all right with the elephant and the dolphin you have this sense leo where you're like i'm gonna keep pushing i'm going to keep trusting my intuition and my intuition is guiding me towards um new endeavors okay um accomplishing some sort of goal here so yes like i do get leo that you are open to hearing what this person has to say and i do get again that you're probably older than who this is with the elephant uh with them co coming up like the knight of cups and the lamb all right so sorry um yeah you've learned you learned a lot here in this connection and you've made decisions and you're making a decision based off of wisdom all right i also get to that there is a gift for who this is leo because the elephant is somebody who presents obstacles as well, who will place obstacles in your way. And the obstacles that you could be, you know, placing, you may be very guarded here. All right. You're very guarded and very tough. You've got like, you know, that very thick skin. All right. But uh, it depends, you know, if this person possibly could you know if they if they operate from a you know from a place of good intention it is possible maybe that they can move forward with you and there's a gift there in store for who this is as well um i usually ask the kipper deck but something came to me and i want to ask this deck okay what's an outside um, influence on this person's side um, that affects their connection with Leo. Outside influence on Leo's person's side. Wow, it's a lot. That's what I just, a lot of cards came out there like, it's a lot. What's, what's the strongest um, 
um, outside. What's the dominant outside energy here on this person's side that affects their connection with Leo? All right, here we go. Heartbroken. All right. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. Dominant outside. This could be somebody else that your person is connected to, all right? Possibly whoever this is, Leo, on your person's side, it's almost like this person would be deeply sad um, if, if your love interest or the person on your mind were to I don't know, like make things right with you. All right. Dominant outside energy on Leo side that affects their connection with the person in their mind. Okay, talking. So this is an outside energy on your, so interested, conversing more. All right, awaited messages. I feel like this is, you know, what I'm getting with you, Leo, is that you're very goal oriented right now. All right, see how she's on her, she's on her laptop or computer. Um, Yeah, like it's it's other interests, what I'm getting, uh, that ha that you're you're just more more of your energy is going towards accomplishing something else and it doesn't have to do with this connection. Okay. So you're you're yeah, I don't even get that you're focused on who this is right now. Like even if you're watching this reading you could be watching the reading for who this is, but there's somebody else that you're talking to or there are, this could also be your business, Leo. You know, um, you're responding to text, you're responding to emails, okay? Um, you're busy. There's There are things here that are keeping you busy. That's what I'm getting, your job could be an outside influence on, you know, this connection. Yeah, you're very connected here to um, other things that need your attention and that you're actually interested in. There are, there's, there's something here too, like you're very interested here. Um, and something else where, so, yeah, it's just like that's that's what has your focus. You're not even focused on what's going on here. Okay. And that may be, you know, it's the age old that could be drawing your person in. All right. Um, it's because you seem very distracted, you know. All right, so Leo, that's what I'm seeing right now. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel grow. I appreciate it so much. Leo, let me see how your person shows up next in the connection with you. All right, here we go. All right, here's how they're showing up next, X. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern. That could be with who this heartbroken bro individual is that I'm getting, okay? Silent treatment, abandonment, all right? 
Okay. To clarify how Leo comes up next in the connection. Self-indulgent. Mm -hmm. Focus on the self. Self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. I think this person gets big time, like, you know, even coming up next, like Leo is not going to, at the very least, this person's like, I have to stop a certain pattern. Um, or Leo is going to continue focusing on Leo. All right. It's, that's very clear. So we'll see. I'm going to clarify all of this in your extended. All right. We're also going to pull your advice, Leo. How should you be moving forward with this individual? Um, you know, what are they wanting overall with you? And what outcome am I getting? All right. So, yeah, we'll, we'll clarify a lot in the extended. So if you feel like this reading hit and you would benefit from watching the extended, the link is in the description, top of the comments for Vimeo. All right, click the link and join me for part two. Leo, if this is where we part ways, thank you for watching your reading. I really hope this gave you a level of clarity, confirmation, and I will see you all soon. All right, take it easy, be safe. Until next time, peace.